Okay, so I wanted to create a quick video today to demonstrate how to sketch something rather basic in Fusion. Uh, we're going to be doing it on the fly. I'm just going to make it up as I go. Uh, but a number of people have told me that they don't know how to start a sketch in Fusion. Uh, by default, Fusion kind of works based on 3D primitives, if you will. So you create a, a three-dimensional cube and then you add your details onto that. Um, but if you're working from a, a blueprint, a drawing, another sketch, or you just want to create something from scratch, you're going to draw it first. Uh, so this is what Fusion looks like when you very first start it up. And to start a sketch, up here in the top left, you just click Create Sketch. But it wants you to define which axis, which plane you want to create your sketch in. Uh, you have X, Y, and Z. I always start mine by clicking up here in the top right and I select top and then I select this uh, this square right here to say okay this is the plane that I want to sketch on and when I do that it takes us to the sketching environment it gives us all these two-dimensional tools to work with uh, we're just going to do a couple basic ones today um, but you can kind of play around with it you know you've got all kinds of polygons ellipses slots text points lines but just for the basics today let's go ahead and select two point rectangle it's going to ask you to define uh, two opposing corners so I like to start one at the origin you certainly don't have to click once drag it out let's just go ahead and click the other corner up here now, we don't know exactly what size this rectangle is or if it's the size that we want it to be. So up in the top left, we're going to click Sketch Dimension. And we're going to say that uh, this side is going to be, we'll call it 2 inches. So we click this side over here. We drag it out. We click once more. Currently, it's 1.868684524, whatever. Uh, just press 2. And then hit Enter. And it automatically makes that side 2 inches tall. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for this length. It's 3.493. We click. We're going to say, make you uh, 4 inches. And then we hit Enter. So now we have a perfect two by four rectangle but if all we needed was a perfect two by four rectangle we really wouldn't be using fusion so we're going to add some some details uh, there's a center diameter circle up here I'm gonna toss this circle out right here I want it to be oh a half inch press enter so that's a half inch diameter but where does this circle exist within our rectangle. Uh, we could put it in the center, but let's offset it a little bit. And the way to do this, again, is with the Sketch Dimension tool. The center of this circle, we want to be uh, in the center of the 4-inch face, if you will. So I'm going to select the center of the circle. And then I'm going to select this side over here pull it down. The center of the circle is currently at 2.5 inches. Well, half of 4 is 2, so we're just going to hit 2 and press enter. Our circle is perfectly centered uh, on that axis. And we're going to offset it an arbitrary amount from the top. We don't want to just put it right smack in the middle. So we're going to select the center of our circle again, and then this side Currently, it's at 0.32 inches. Uh, let's bring it down to 0.5, half an inch down. Press Enter. So now that circle exists exactly a half inch in and exactly two inches over. Uh, there's a couple other pretty cool tools that you can use within this. Um, we can take a line, we can draw it from here to 
here. And when we sketch dimension this here to here, gives us angles. Um, to make this a 45, we want our angle to be 135 degrees. You can use trigonometry to figure that out, but that's another video. We're going to press enter. So this line exists at exactly 135 degrees. Um, but what is that line going to do for us? Well, we're going to trim. We're going to take this line off right here and this line off right here and now that corner has effect effectively uh, been made into a 45 degree edge uh, another useful tool is this fillet tool say we want to round this corner over you can just press on the corner till you get the red line there but what I typically do is select one side and then the other it's going to say, okay, how much of a radius do you want on this edge? We're going to say we want a quarter inch and press enter. And it really is this simple. But let's take it a step further. When we're done with our sketch, but let's take it a step further. Let's add a little text. Uh, we'll put it right here. Uh, it's not going to be called sample text. We're going to say top. Uh, bold Arial is fine, but you can change it to, uh, I mean, anything you want, really, but let's call it Bell MT just because that sounds cool. Let's move this over a little bit to right there. Just press OK. Uh, let's finish our sketch. And right now, this is exactly what we have sketched. It is in a two-dimensional plane. So if you're just trying to make a blueprint or get a rough idea of some shapes and sizes, uh, this is enough. But Fusion really excels in creating things for 3D printing or CAD CAM operations, uh, if you're machining it in a CNC machine, for example. So let's bring this into the 3D world. If we just select, you can see it kind of makes the lines bold. If you select this face, it becomes blue. So that is currently the um, profile that we are working with. We can press E to extrude, or we can go up here and click extrude or we can click create and go to extrude so here's E for extrude so to bring this into a 3D realm um, we have to tell it okay what is the Z height we have an X and a Y what is the Z height we're going to call it one inch uh, arbitrarily our operation is new body and we're gonna press enter so now we have a three-dimensional object that we've created from our sketch. It's two inches long, four inches this direction, and one inch tall. Uh, we can see that our hole obviously was trimmed out, and our text has disappeared. Completely disappeared. That's because by default, once you make something uh, from a sketch into a three-dimensional object, Fusion hides the sketch. But if we click this caret on the left, and you can see this eye icon with a line through it. If we click that, suddenly our sketch is able to be seen again. Now our text here is kind of not where we want it, and that's okay. If we hit create and emboss over here it says select the sketch profile so make sure that's highlighted select the text and then we can see that there is one sketch profile selected 
Now, what face do we want this to affect? So we click right here where it says select. When it's blue, that means that's what we're working with. And we want to work with this face because it is the top. And automatically you can see that it takes our text profile and brings it up top. And if I zoom in here, you can see that debossed, if we want to emboss, now the text is 10 thousandths higher than this surface, but we want it to actually be sunk in a little bit. So we'll select deboss and press OK. And now our text is 3D uh, in the top of this block that we've made. So let's just play around a little bit. Okay, so what we'd like to do is um, make a couple different holes. So let's go to the top here. Uh, there's a create hole tool, or you can press H on the keyboard, or you can hit create hole. Uh, so let's just do that. It wants to know where the placement of our hole is, so we'll just click uh, right here. And we can drag this around. So our hole type, simple counterbore, countersink. Let's add a counterbore. And it shows us right here real easily um, the diameter of our hole right here. We're going to call that 0.25. Uh, the diameter of the counterbore, 0.5. The depth of the counterbore, let's go with um, 0.125. And let's see, there's one more. Ah, it's only going 0 0.6 in, so we're going to make this a, let's not make it a through hole. Yeah, let's make it a through hole. We're going to go all the way through, one inch. Now when we press OK, we've created our quarter inch hole with our counter bore. Let's add a slight chamfer to the inside of this. Um, so you notice when you mouse over certain things, they become highlighted. I'm just going to select this uh, edge of the hole, if you will. I'm going to go to Modify, Chamfer. Right here is where you change how much you want your chamfer to be. Let's do uh, 30 thousandths and press OK. So now we have a chamfered hole. Uh, that is counterboard. We can go a step further with this. We have a half inch hole right here. Uh, something is going to bolt to that. Right now that is not possible. So we can go to the create menu and click thread. Right here it's asking us to select um, the faces of the hole it will only allow you to select circular faces. So we're going to select this one. Now because this is a half inch hole, it knows that we're going to create a half inch thread. Um, so you can see right here it's already defaulted to a half inch. Um, this is the particular thread pattern. We're going to change it to half inch 13 unified national course. This is your fit class. You can choose right hand or left hand. Now, right now, if we were to click OK and send this to a 3D printer, it would not have threads in it. Right now, this is only visual on the computer screen. Uh, to actually create the threads, we're going to hit Modeled. And now the threads are actually modeled into RP. So if we were to print this, it would have threads. 
I'm going to click OK. So now we have a threaded half inch 13 hole all the way through. And I know that we deviated a little bit from um, just sketching and we kind of took it into a 3D realm. So let's go ahead and end this here. Uh, we'll pick it back up at another time. Uh, we'll create a blueprint of this part.